All right, and we're back. I took a break. I had a lunch. So far, so far. yeah, pretty much. Oh boy, the uh, construction folks are still there. I think they're there till five today, and it's only like two. But you know what? They're doing God's work, so I can't complain. I don't even remember what I was thinking about before I went on break. Um. Anyways, we're, I guess we're doing the next mission for Vin, which I believe is the one where we have to get rid of the security barriers, and it opens up to the first real boss fight of the game. Which I think the boss fights in this game are actually pretty... Jesus. I like how that didn't count as me assaulting someone, because something just exploded. Um, I'm pretty damn sure that this is the mission I'm thinking of. Because there's not very many missions for Vin you have to end up doing. Um, you know, I actually was curious if this was the game that had the Pac-Man thing in it, and I was kind of depressed that it wasn't. And you know, on further thought, it's not Pac-Man that that <clears throat> minigame I'm thinking of is a clone of. It's uh, Freeway or whatever. It's not Freeway, but... um. Oh, what the hell was it? It was like an old like PC-based game. It was an arcade game where you, like, drove a car, and you had to, like, I think it was called Free Lane, actually. It wasn't terrible. I mean, I played it. There was, I used to have this really shitty, um, like, 300 games for $5 from Walmart discs. And, um, there was a game on there that was exactly like that. I actually remember the name of the game. It was called 300 Golden Games. That was the, uh... The tagline, and I also got like came with a pinball thing too that was really bad. <laughs> Ugh, it was it was very unpleasant to say the least. I really don't remember what mission this is. If I'm correct, I'll be happy, but not very happy. I'll just be happy, okay? Deal with it. <clears throat> ben, buddy, we need a favor. I can't help you with your eco bill. We need you to switch on the access elevator in one of the palace's support towers. Why does he just sound drunk in that vocal take? We need you to access the support towers. He just sounds mildly drunk. I feel like that could have been a better line delivery. Sheesh! That's part of the old B-Zone power grid. It hasn't worked for years. Well, if it's too hard for you, I understand. Power stuff can be tricky. Tricky? Huh. I could route the B-Zone conduit lines through the bypass bridge, something past B-Zone rooms to connect inductor tubes in series, then back through the outer wall insulator helix and cross the resonant flux routers into the number five capacitor array. Assuming the circuits was BF-75 beef in the search, I could link the phase loop lines into the primary coils and presto, you've got instant lift juice. Ben, you're a genius. Eh, uh, actually, Mar was the genius. People say he made most of this stuff long ago. The shield wall system, the eco grid. Anyway, to get that elevator moving, you gotta find and turn on all the old B zone power boxes located in the city. There are five of them. That doesn't sound so tough. No, except those power boxes are guarded by motion sensing turbo cannons. But if you can destroy the cannons and switch the boxes on, I can do the rest. Just don't tell the Baron I ever saw you. <sighs> This mission isn't very hard, but it can be very annoying. So you want to get a nice, chunky vehicle for this, because you're going to want something to soak in all this damage you're going to end up taking in two seconds. So, you don't have to do this after the mission. You can actually go back to the area we're going to open up any time after. I used to actually do that as a challenge for myself, because I get bored and... You know, you didn't have very many games back in the day, so if you did have games, you'd find, like, weird challenges and shit to give yourself to keep yourself occupied. One of them I did was actually <clears throat> try to scale the, uh, the tower and also to... Oh, what was it? Is this... And then finish off, I think, the second area after that you unlock later. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, you do it later, so... It was a weird thing, I don't know. I didn't have very many friends to come over. I lived out in the middle of nowhere. That's why I'm like, man, the fact I could borrow a game and accidentally, like, forget to give it back was the worst feeling ever. I still have games from people that let me borrow their games, and they never ask for them back. That's why I don't consider them mine. 
like I have a copy of Dino Crisis. Uh, what's the other one? Tenchu 1 and 2, I'm pretty sure. A Game Shark disc and something else. I don't know. I've never really bothered with Game Sharks because, I don't know, I just didn't find them that interesting as a kid. But as an adult, I mean, yeah, I could just break into the back end of a game pretty easily if I tried. But back then, it was pretty... It was impressive that those were actually basically, you know, hacking into the actual console's code. That was awesome. I thought that was so cool. But I was like, that's too smart wizard magic for me because they used to sell these guides at, like, um, book fairs. I think it was Scholastic book fairs. And they'd have, like, Game Shark code guides. They'd have, like, um, not strategy guides, but they were basically, like, these unlicensed, um, like 10 million cheat codes all guaranteed to work and only like two of them actually worked um <clears throat> i remember everybody had one of those my parents didn't do that because they wanted me to be a good kid and not be a cheater i didn't end up in fucking jail because of it either so i'm a good person i love vin vin is just me that's probably why i enjoy his character so much but, uh, yeah, I used to... My friend and me used to play, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto 3. It's how I remember the fucking codes. Or here's the... We'd, here's another thing we'd do, because, um... You know, the school library is only made for, like, useless shit. But since almost every library in every school... I've only been to, like, three. Because I was a good kid and I didn't cause trouble. Um... I'm talking about grade school, middle school, high school, by the way. I didn't go to three separate of each. Um, I only went to one for each. So, uh, yeah, I do this as a challenge. But um, anyways, there was a time... Oh, my God. It was like printers were so hard to come by <clears throat> that, like... You know what I mean? Like, if you remember the time, not everybody had access to a printer. I mean, hell, even the printer I have is a Pixma Canon model which is very basic, but, I mean, I only needed to print out, like, sales receipts for, like, TCG player and shit. Um, there we go. Um, so it's like, yeah, I totally... I can do it now as an adult. It feels like a fucking ultra privilege, though, because back in the day, yeah, we, we had to, like, go to the library and, like, pray to God that we didn't get kicked out for typing in Grand Theft Auto on the, um, computers in school. And half the time, the fucking shit you'd look up on, like, oh my god. I remember the name of the very first cheat website I found. It was called Cheat Planet. Uh, and their logo was like a little ring Saturn kind of... What? Oh, I don't know what the hell happened there. I'll take it. Um, but they were... I know for a fact they were loaded with, like, malware and everything like that because it was the early 2000s. Um... But holy shit, dude, we we would use that or GameFAQs, and uh, GameFAQs is trash. It's just always been trash. I'm sorry, GameFAQs, like, when it works, I'm sure it's great. But as it stands, uh, GameFAQs was, like, as unreliable as it got. IGN was pretty good. I remember having good luck with IGN every now and then. But, uh, yeah, Cheat Planet was where we... And you go to the school and print them out because they were the printer you had access to. It was nice. And then they get mad at you for it. It was not fun. I have told you I will have Mori go by week's end. We transport him directly to your nest as promised. A deal is of no value if you can't deliver, my dear man. That face is so 2000s it hurts. That's the face of the Baron, just pissed off at all times. I grow impatient with your puny gestures. Give me the agreed upon ego soon, or the deal is off, and your precious city will pay the price. He's toying with us. Let me lead an assault on the nest before it's too late. I can take him. Get another 2000s image as well. Patience. <clears throat>
Move forward with a plan. Tell Edwin to up her patrols. I want that tomb found. But your daughter has not been agreeable. Uh, I'll see to that problem, one way or another. Ashland is the Baron's daughter? And find that child! If you'd spent half as much time looking for the little brat as you spent flirting with that mechanic girl, we would have pinned his royal ass to a wall long ago. As you wish. Did not persuade you to ensure our spy. Brat loaded! What was that? I love that face. That is the best. That is probably the second best. I think the dumb smile one is good, but that's close second. And this is our first boss fight coming up, which is not my favorite thing ever. Uh, hopefully I don't botch this. Oh boy. So you can probably tell why I'm not very stoked about this. Because I have... Oh god, I have fucked this up so bad. I could probably just get killed and it'll be fine. Come on. So he has a very easy pattern here. Okay, there we go. I'm not really 100% sure what the frames of damage you can do to him are on, but... I say just spam at him, you'll be fine. You'll hit him eventually and he'll just do his thing. I'm really nervous here because I only have one hit and this is a very easy way to get killed. So, oh boy. This is the easiest part of the fight though. Easy in relative terms, I should say. He doesn't have a lot of bullshit, but he can hit you if he does his little charge shit. Which I can't remember the tell for in this phase. I don't think he does it in this one. It's the next one. Come on. Come on. There we go. See, I'm not really sure what the attack frames are. Because I've never been comfortable with this fight. <clears throat> I might die here because I have one hit. And he might run into me. So let's hope that doesn't happen. So he shoots out these tornadoes, which you can't see because... <gasps> oh! Oh! Yep. That's great. That's great. That's just wonderful. Okay. Let's not do that again. There's a tornado, Shug! Okay. Enough fucking around. Let's get this taken care of. <laughs> and Frant is going to have a meltdown, of course. We can't have a video where he doesn't have a meltdown. It's because those repair people are out there and it's making him angry. He can't go into his normal areas outside. Ugh. I don't even know where he's at right now, and that's not a good thing. I need to not be over here. Oh boy. Yeah, this is bad. I don't want to be over here. Oh, cool. I killed him without even dying. That's amazing. They should have made a Bill Cosby joke there about how dumb Bill Cosby was, and it would have aged like fucking fine wine. It really would have. Uh, I hate the... You know, that's something I also appreciate about Jack and Daxter, is even though it tries to be edgy in this game, they at least use the word kill. That's something they don't do in shitty edgy, as I call it. There is such thing as good edgy. Um, God, Tony Hawk games are the best edgy. But, um... <clears throat> I think the fact they say kill in this game shows they're not fucking around, and I love it. So much edge, I just... Ugh. Careful not to cut yourself, though. What the hell? <gasps> what the hell? What am I aiming at? Oh god, this game is just too much fun.